People who think oxalates are the reason they're sick are freaks. They wear knee-high socks, just thinking it'll protect them from puddles. They wear headbands. They definitely wear headbands. These people let spinach defeat them. There's so many more terrifying things in the world than spinach. At least three things. Mosquitoes. Corn. Socks. In today's video, I brought some actual facts that will prove that oxalates are the best and what really happens with this so-called oxalate dumping phenomena that terrorizes our hearts. Let's find out. I love your colon, girl, it's my world. I will never make a sound. The orange juice of the gods, my friend. High in oxalate six. It's good for your kidney system. So first off, let me say I'm not attacking anybody here, although it may appear that way. I have a kind heart. I'm just searching for the truth myself. And I noticed a lot of people that are pushing this whole oxalate theory, they're guessing, just like I've been guessing my whole life on everything. How to have sex the best way. That's a major guess. I guessed wrong hard on that one. Don't do the backwards crab into mating position. Just why are you doing it to yourself? So when I first went carnivore after 10 years plant-based, I felt some immediate benefits. I was like, holy shit, the calmness that overwhelmed me. The first night, immediately, I was just like, wow, I feel so calm and relaxed. Just one day full of meat. I was like, wow. I couldn't deny the fact that I felt better in certain things, like just my nose. I could breathe clearer. I was like, I'm healing. This meat is actually healing me. So I was going all in and trying to find out why. Like, why was I getting sick on a plant-based diet and I'm healing on meat? It makes no sense. Oxalates, salicylates, phytic acid, all these plant toxins killing us. Wow, makes sense. No doubt, some people will feel better eliminating all plants, but that doesn't make the plants toxic. You have to understand that blueberries should not be able to kill you. If you're that low on the food chain where a blueberry ends you, maybe you're not meant for this dimension. I'm just saying. You came here too soon on your star plan for adventures. You, just, you're not, you weren't ready for this world. Just back off. Today I want to focus on the oxalates though. This is the one that carnivores think are killing them. And I just want to bring up one thing here. I found a study. The impact of dietary oxalate on kidney stone formation and just in the abstract, the role of dietary oxalate in calcium oxalate kidney stone formation remains unclear. It's a total theory. It's a complete guess. There is no science to show that eating oxalate rich foods causes kidney stones. Zero. Post it down below, I will delete your mother. Sally Norton is considered like the oxalate expert. And I've watched many of her lectures while I was carnivore, and I was like, yeah, that makes sense. All these anti-nutrients, that's why I feel so good, even though it didn't last. The fatigue, just grease fat, coating my blood. Help. YouTube recommended one of her videos, I think it was an interview with Carnivore Yogi, and I just noticed that she's guessing on the whole oxalate thing. That's her theory. It's not proven. She's just like, oh, that must have been why. So, you know, it took more and more research and experimentation. And, you know, I eventually pieced it together that oxalate was the toxin that was waking up my brain, making it impossible to sleep and read and function and really totally disabled me. And I recognize it because I guess a lot. I'm just wondering, like, oh, dairy causes colitis in me. Why is that? The undigested protein must be triggering my immune system or... According to medical medium, the dairy's feeding the shingles virus. Oh, that's why. Like, nobody knows. None of us know anything. It's really hard to diagnose this thing. You can't just take blood or urine and say, oh, you do or don't have too much oxalate going on in your body. There's, it's not easy to test for it, so. But it was interesting listening to her story. She's saying she had the Hashimoto's. So if you're armed with the medical medium information, you know, okay, she had Epstein-Barr. And then you talk to her about her vegan days. She's all up in that wheat, all up in that soy. You should hear how much soy she used to eat. Frying soy all the time. I mean, even just noticing that I was having reactions to wheat took me ages to figure that out. And then I was realizing, oh, and I'm also having reactions to soy and legumes. And that's what finally got me back to meat is that I couldn't eat wheat or beans. And what do you eat if you're vegan? <laughs> you can't eat wheat or beans. You're, you're yeah, you can't, you can't, have, you can't have your Satan. <laughs> 
I was a tofu nut during my vegan years. I would make any tofu stuffed shells, tofu chocolate cream pies, fried tofu for breakfast. Think about this for a second. You have viruses in your body waiting for wheat sandwiches. You feed it to them. They get strong. They multiply. They attack your penis. Then you start to catch on. You're like, hey, I don't feel so good eating these foods. You remove them all. Go to nothing but meat. Meat doesn't feed viruses. Look at you. You just removed their food and killed them at the same time with their high lysine and zinc content. It's a viable path. I ain't hating on you carnies. I'm jealous. I want a beef sandwich right now without the bread. Give me one. In my opinion, that's why the carnivore diet works so well to help sick people get well, finally. You remove all foods that feed pathogens and you're just left with meat that doesn't feed anything and it kills some things. So it's like you're left with this plan that actually does work, but long term, What's gonna happen? I was watching this other interview. I've been watching a bunch of carnivore diet videos lately. Just, I miss it. I do miss the simplicity of it. I don't like shopping every like three days. I gotta go get a mountain of fruit, bring it back here. It's a pain in the bitch. It's like hard to travel. It's hard to live. My whole life is dedicated to food. I'm healing things. I feel pretty darn good. My skin's actually clearing up on these carbs for some reason. It's finally working out. But I'm still sick of it. I just want to jump off this wagon hard. So I was watching this interview with this elderly woman who's on this carnivore diet, raw carnivore, and she's starting to get these pains, like full body pain. And I'm thinking gout immediately, but she comes up with the theory, oh, it's oxalate dumping, that's why. That's not happening. Here's a study, influence of cranberry juice on the urinary risk factors for calcium oxalate kidney stone formation. The results were the ingestion of cranberry juice significantly and uniquely altered three key urinary risk factors. Oxalate and phosphate excretion decreased while citrate excretion increased. In addition, there was a decrease in the relative supersaturation of calcium oxalate, which tended to be significantly lower than that induced by water alone. Their conclusion is that cranberry juice has anti-lithogenic properties. I have no idea what that means. And as such, deserves consideration as a conservative therapeutic protocol in managing calcium oxalate urolithiasis. It, it manages it. The reality is cranberries are one of the highest oxalate containing food you can even get, but they don't build up in your body. They actually help release oxalates in your body it's it's similar to diabetes how like oh i'm having blood sugar metabolism problems i better avoid sugar oh now i'm getting no you avoid the fat you increase your blood sugar metabolism and then you can eat all the sugar you want same thing with oxalates you increase your oxalate metabolism abilities i have no idea that now i'm just talking shit admittedly but it seems like you eat all the spinach, cranberries, sweet potatoes, you're fine. It's fine. Proven by science. Human beings are actually a lot more instinctive than we give ourselves credit for. When I'm eating spinach, usually I don't feel anything. It's like, fine, I eat like a big bunch of spinach. But sometimes, if I'm eating so much, eventually I'll feel a little stinging in the throat. It's not like, oh my God, what's happening? It's just like, hmm, that's weird. I think that's like the signal. It's like, okay, I've had enough oxalates, enough oxalate sandwiches for today, and you're fine. I mean, how many cranberries can you eat? Eventually it's like, okay, this is a sour berry with very little flavor. I like them, plain. They're pretty tasty, but eventually like you reach the limit where you're like, eh. Like Swiss chard, that just tastes weird immediately. You take one bite of Swiss chard and you're like, that's not very good. You feel those oxalates. It is possible if you eat a lot of cooked food. I ain't backing you cookies, you cookie fooders. You cook a bunch of sweet potatoes which have oxalates and you release. There's some shit that cooking does is just bad. It's bad news. I remember Ogenus von der Planet saying, the mercury in fish, it's fine if you if you eat it raw. Go ahead for that tuna. You're good to go. It just, it stays in there and it will leave your body. But you cook it, you release the mercury. Then it's like, Put it story to my brain. I love it there. For me, I'm a health freak and I'm very focused on my kidney health and I'm doing all this stuff, high oxalate foods to heal my kidneys. It's like, I'm not trying to get as much oxalates as possible. I'm just knowing fruits and vegetables are what help heal the kidneys and low protein seems to be the best way. I'm still gaining strength 
on this low protein. I have like 40 grams a day. I'm, I'm so close to that one arm pull up, even though I'm using a rubber band to propel me up into the flat earth hemisphere. But I'm getting there. I am getting there. I mean, you can prove it to yourself. Go get a blood test. Go see what your creatinine levels are. I guarantee if you're on the carnivore diet, it's up there. 0.9 over one. That's danger town. Every time I go plant-based, it lowers back down into normal territories. And people say, oh, it's the muscle mass that you had when you were carnivore that made you so much more creatinine. That has nothing to do with your kidneys. It's like, I'm the same weight. I'm four pounds less than I was at my peak on carnivore. I have the kidneys of a fire moose. In my opinion, most of these people that are complaining about oxalate dumping is just uric acid building. Same shit, they're both crystals. They're both harsh crystals. You're all afraid of spinach, yet you're eating all this animal protein, no problem, and creating all this uric acid in your body. Same crystals. The only difference is uric acid hurts the kidneys as it leaves. Oxalates pet it like a horse. Just petting it. Proven by science. So many studies. That's why you're gonna see in the future a lot of these carnivores that are eating super high protein that's not gonna last. Eventually they're gonna realize, oh shit, this protein's not doing me so well. They're gonna up that fat. They're gonna be up at 80% fat and then your diet's disgusting. It's gross, it's too much fat. That's where I ended up on the carnivore diet. Let's not forget, I had acne for a good nine months or eight months and it wasn't until I got back to Canada and upped my fat significantly did my skin finally clear. And I'm up at like lard bacon levels ground beef with lard in it tallow like so much it was so greasy and gross and eventually that's where you're gonna have to be you're gonna have to be all up in that beef suet just eating that raw you're gonna chow it down like a horse it just doesn't make any sense there's no fat animals like that in nature people are saying the carnivore diets are a natural thing but all these animals are just pure protein they're still there's fat there but not enough to sustain you healthfully long term. Where are you going to get all this fat in nature? It's the complete opposite of natural. Whereas I'm looking at fruits and vegetables, those have always been here. Orange tree? Sure, my juicer makes it unnatural. But it's delicious. You shut your mouth. It's funny, people call me a sugar addict. Like, I'm barely enjoying these fruit meals. This isn't even that great. I'd rather eat a steak. I would much rather have a steak right now. I just know I'd be falling asleep, telling you tales of my dreams. These are just my opinions, but I've been focused from day one on healing my kidneys. And the least thing I fear on the planet is oxalates. I'd be all up in that spinach all day long, and then I'd listen for the signal. Oh, scratchy throat. Okay, we've had enough for today. I have zero concern that oxalates are going to build up in my body, but terrified of uric acid building up and going back on carnivore. That's the reason I'm not going back. I want to. I want to do it. I don't even know why. <laughs> I'll tell you why, after I drink this orange juice, I gotta walk two kilometers with a cart and pick up like 50 pounds of fruit that's gonna cost me $300. And then I have to eat it, and it's not even that enjoyable. That's my life. Don't wish that upon me. I just want to roll meat. That would be so sweet. I would eat it. Every night. At bedtime, I just want raw meat. Maybe ostrich feet or a meatball. You can dip it in eggs or a goat brain. I think there are healthy ways to do carnivore long term. Don't get me wrong. I think people are gonna prove us wrong and then be like, look at me. I'm 95 years old. You're a geek. I'm still alive. I'm thriving. You're on the wrong ass path. <laughs> I get it, and I hope that's the case. I, I don't wish anybody pain. I don't want to see anybody get gout or kidney cancer. Just let's all get healthy. I'm just saying. Oxalates, seriously, spinach is gonna kill you. Cranberry juice, proven to heal kidneys. Be real with yourself. That dog, he just wants oxalates. He does. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna go walk that dog. And thank you for watching the video today. Let me know what you thought, oxalates. Oh, as soon as I eliminated them, I felt so much better. Oh, if I have one leaf of spinach, oh. <laughs> hey, whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down.
if you sell oxalate supplements, they're four ninety nine for a hundred. They heal everything in six minutes. I wish you well. May you prosper long and heal many. The autofocus. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Thanks for buying a monkey strength t-shirt and book and signing up to the monthly Patreon Q&A and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.